Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got today? There we go, you can tell already what we've got. We've got a little Mont Blanc fountain pen, or as you people know with my accent, it's Mont Blanc. <laughs> what we've got for you here, it's a, I believe it's a Mont Blanc 220p, or a 220 CC or a cartridge converter fountain pen. Now, what I've done, I've so I've shown you sort of similar pens before in the Mont Blanc range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you a link up here somewhere at the end of the video. You can go and have a look at that. Now this pen, I am dating around about the 1970s. So. It's not too vintage and it's it's not modern. So around about 1970s and what Mont Blanc did, they, they made numerous pens in a very, very similar style to this. Um, and they were actually, well, obviously sort of different models, different names, etc. Now, one way you can actually sort of recognise some of these pens is by the the cap band on the cap. Again, if you look at the similar pens, the different models, they've got different cap bands. Some of them had two cap bands. Some of them had what they, what they termed as a, like a crown cap band. So they are identi identi ident you can look <laughs> You can see which ones they are by simply looking at the bands. They're identifiable. That's the word I was looking for. But this one, I may be wrong. So if I'm wrong, please... Um, Please let me know. I believe it to be a 220cc cartridge converter. Um, another thing about these pens of the period, a lot of them were actually piston fillers, which had a blind cap that you unscrew um, to, fill the, to fill the pen. What you'll see in a moment, this one's got the converter inside. Now, as I said, 1970s, the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 135 millimeters capped around the broadest uh, bit of the barrel near the end of the cap it's approximately 12 millimeters in diameter and it comes in this black um, plastic in this particular case it's not what they term as the pressure sorry well my my teeth are not uh, in properly today the <laughs> it's it's not the precious resin that the modern pens were made of um, it comes with gold filled trim, as I say, this particular case, it has just a thin cap band and I don't know if it's actually sort of visible to you, but on the cap band it says Mont Blanc um, and somewhere on the band as well it simply says Germany. And then if we take you up to the clip there, um, of the period it's got this quite elongated tapers slightly to the end clip to the very top there we've got this clip quite a sort of broad clip band to the very top of the cap you can see the Mont Blanc um, snow peak symbol there and that's complemented down to the bottom of the barrel there you can see it's got this sort of inset uh, Mont Blanc symbol there now this pen it came to me from a customer it was a little bit sad it had quite numerous scratches it had quite numerous scuff marks on it um, and another problem that he had it the ink flow would actually stop after a while so what I've done I've serviced the pen I've given the pen a lovely polish as you can see there it's in lovely condition now everything's been cleaned so what we'll do, let's first of all take off the cap, which is a push-on, push-off cap. Let's give you the customary twirls like so. As I say, it had numerous sort of sort of bad scuff marks on the on the section, which if I actually turn around now, you can see of all basically they've all gone, we've polished them all out. If we take you up to the to the top of the section you see it's got this slight V to the top of the section again if you look at the pens that are similar in this period the top there slightly differs and the nib slightly differs as well 
But if we show you the nib, you've got what we term as a, as a Mont Blanc wing nib. And the only marking on this nib, let's keep it nice and still. You can see to the bottom it says 585. So it's a 585 or gold winged Mont Blanc nib. Let's show you the section underneath. You can see there everything again has been nicely cleaned. Incidentally, I need to get into the habit of showing you before and after. Uh, one of the problems, as I say, was ink flow. When I actually took this section and the feed out, underneath the nib, on the feed, it was full of sort of a gunky, gunky ink. So it doesn't surprise me that it had ink flow problems, but that's all been cleaned. Everything, the feed, the collector, everything, the, the nib, etc., where all this inky gunk was, has been fully cleaned. One of the other problems with this pen, um, I'm not sure whether the customer actually knew or not, but when I actually received it, to the, to the end of the barrel, it had quite a bad, bad sort of chip from the barrel. Now what I'll do, I'll show you a picture on the left there, and while I'm showing the picture, what I'll do, there you go, to the left you can see the picture with this chip to it. If I actually twirl, if I twirl the pen, the barrel, you can see there, we've filled it in, we've polished it, and it's actually, well, it's not there anymore. So we got rid of that nasty chip to the end of the barrel. Let's unscrew the barrel, there we go. What you've got is the standard Mont Blanc um, converter. As you can see, that was sort of, it was full of green ink, we've cleaned it, we've, we've cleaned all that out. So everything's been cleaned, it's all ready to go back to the customer. So let's put the barrel back on. I'm not going to fill the pen, because as I say, I've cleaned everything. Um, it's going back today to, to the customer so I don't want to sort of you know get involved with flushing everything out but I know you people like to see pens writing so if I get a little bit of tissue to my left here and what I'm going to do I'll simply simply dip the nib in the ink and let's just see let's just see how the pen writes so what we have is a A Mont, a Mont Blanc. As I said, I believe this one to be the 220. Sometimes it's actually called the P. Sometimes it's known as, sorry, not the two. It's known as the 220 CC or cartridge converter. As we said, we're dating this pen from in the regions of the 1970s. It's made. Let's dip it again. It's made in in Germany. Okay. Does it have a flex nib? Slightly, I would say. We're just getting a slight broader line on the downward stroke. Not a great deal. Let's dip it again. Let's do some figures of eights. Depending on the pressure that you put on the pen, but I would say it's got a slight flex nib as well. You can see on the downward stroke we can get a slightly broader nib, sorry, not a broader nib, a broader line um, than on the cross stroke. So a lovely writer and, well, the fact that we've cleaned all the gunk from inside the nib, the feed, the section, hopefully we've uh, resolved the ink flow problem but as you can see the pen it was a little bit well yeah it was a bit tired plenty of scratches as I say lots of scuff marks um, I'm going to try and get into the habits of actually photographing or showing you showing you the pens before and then showing to you afterwards as I did with the with the chip there but all in all I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen Jeff I hope you uh, have many years of writing with your pen and I hope you like the results. 
So there's the Mont Blanc 220 cartridge converter. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, like, don't forget, subscribe, and if you can, please support as well. But for now, I'll just say bye bye for now.